Hey everyone, so I was casually scrolling through Instagram when a reel caught my attention. It features the super cool tool, a mini turbojet fan. I had to learn more so I hit up Google right away. Turns out this little gadget isn't exactly cheap and well I don't have any girlfriend to gift it to me like the guy said in the reel. But you know what, I'm not letting that stop me. In this video, I'm going to try to build my own version of this gadget. It's going to be fun so stick around until the end. This video is brought to you by LTM365, the first open electronics hardware development platform that connects your entire team no matter where they are. With LTM365, you can securely collaborate in real time, manage your design and components, and streamline your entire development process from concept to production. Say goodbye to disconnected workflow and hello to faster, better product delivery. Design the future with LTM365, where your next great idea comes to life. And if your student wants to kickstart your career in electronics design, check out LTM Student Lab. Get free access to LTM Designer and LTM 365, collaborate with friends and earn a certificate recognized by top industries in India. Start today and learn real skills that lead to real jobs. Click the link in the description to get started. Coming back to the project, first up we'll need a motor. Initially I considered using a standard brushed DC motor. These motors are quite affordable but they tend to be heavy and don't spin very fast. So instead we'll be using a brushless motor. Brushless motors have 3 wires and spins at much higher speed. While they are slightly more expensive than brushed motor, they are far more efficient. For this project, I am using the smallest brushless motor that I have. As you can see, it's incredibly tiny about the size of my fingernail, making it the perfect choice. But don't let its size fool you, this little motor can spin more than 60,000 rpm. The only downside of the brushless motor is that they require an electric speed controller. To control the ESC, we need an additional PWM controller. So these two are the essential components to get the motor spinning. Now let's connect the motor to the ESC and see it in the action. Alright, so as you can see guys, this tiny monster spins insanely fast and you can hear it's pretty loud too. Now we can move to the first step which is 3D designing. First up, I'll be prototyping the blade and the outer body. If all goes according to the plan, we'll finalize the design and move forward. I have completed the design so now it's time to print them out on my 3D printer. The print came out great, I used PLA for this one but I would recommend going with the ABS since it's more heat resistant. The motor will definitely get hot while spinning so ABS will handle it much better. Alright guys, it's ready. I'm powering this up using a 3S LiPo battery from an FPV drone. Just listen to that sound. This thing is spinning insanely fast and pushing out a ton of air. I didn't expect it to work this well but it's incredible how much airflow this tiny fan can generate. As you can see it cleans out the whole table with just one blow. These cardboard papers are too light so we need something heavy. So I got these candies and guess it blow them away effortlessly. Now that we have tested its strength, it's time to move on to the final step, wrapping up this project. I have already designed the remaining parts and this is how the final product will look. After experimenting with several color themes, I decided on this classic black and white combo. Now let's print all the parts using the same colored filament and bring this design to life. Oh. 
all the parts turned out great. Now let's assemble everything and see the final product. Earlier we used this ESC but as we making this project compact and small, so here I got a smaller ESC. Alright so the project is finally complete and I have to say I'm thrilled out with how it turned out. This thing looks amazing and I'm really happy with the results. If you enjoyed watching this project come together make sure to hit the like button. Guys listen to the sound, it sounds exactly like a tiny jet engine. The performance is exactly same as we checked earlier. To be honest I don't really have practical use for this. I built it purely for the fun but what do you think, did I nailed it or not? Let me know in the comments below. I have listed all the materials I used in this video in the description so be sure to check them out. And if you need STL file for this project they are available through channel memberships. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did a thumbs up would be means a lot to me. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one until then bye bye.